lead is eventually going to end up in somebody's drinking water. Every one of these monitors has four to eight pounds of lead embedded in the glass. It's okay until it's run over with those big machines and bulldozers and everything and crushed. That lead dust will leach into the water eventually. Even if it's a lined layer fill, there's got to be a way for the water to get out of the lining. People think that they're donating it to some cause and it's really a recycling event. And they'll say, oh, this still works and blah, 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 and so on and so forth, you know. I guess they don't reuse them. <laughs> and the public has to realize they can't just buy it and then you know, just throw it away. I, I mean, I mean, they got to be responsible. The public has to be responsible. And until you get to that level, you know, you know, there's always going to be stuff going to the wrong place or doing the wrong thing. place you go, schools, homes, everybody is trying to get some. I have an uncle in the States who buys and then ships it to us. It's a family business. He buys it, ships it, and then I clear it from the pots and then I sell it. I send the money back. He uses it to buy another one and then we also sell it usually, yeah. Okay. Some of them, when it gets here, it's not working. Yeah, at least if they may be, they may do something about it, maybe checking before they bring it down. You know what is coming is working. And some of them, when it gets here, it's like you picking the rubbish to your house. It's, it's, it's very bad. I go around the shops to look out for what is coming in to this country by way of uh, used computers, you know, basically second-hand computers in quotes coming in from the U.S. I examine them to look for the ownership labels, the stickers on them. And also I talk to whoever brought them in and how they got here. I think it is important, you know, to know the source, the origin of these computers. So if, if we need more, about it, more than 100, yeah, we can, can get, get it. We can There's get no it. No I see. And uh, from which country does it normally come? From the US. From the United States. Yeah. Oh, okay. When they yeah. come, we don't even repair some of them. Mm -hmm. yeah. The the most things that we normally do is to change it, but we don't repair it because most time you repair it, you can it can be repaired. Dell is always saying that they have a policy in place now, a brand new policy that does not allow the disposal or the dumping of Dell computers in other countries. But here you can see everything here is Dell. Everything here is Dell. It happens all the time. I mean, each time I go around the e-waste shops or warehouses and even at a dump site, I come across these ownership labels. This one says State Department, State of Connecticut Department of Mental Health. This is obviously dumping. Because these things are rather obsolete. They're not even functional. You know, so the question is, why is the United States dumping on Ghana, dumping the electronic waste in Ghana? Because Ghana does not have the mechanism to recycle electronic waste. It's, wet. it's uh, dangerous because someday you bump the inside. You see, you go through break and then you blast you, you fix you. Because right now, it's killing my people like three. Uh. These things, what do they use them for? You know what do they take to? This one, I want to break up. No, yeah. not, not what you want to do. Uh -huh. Okay, I'll come to that. What do you want to do with these things? This one, a day for the white man in country. You know what did it take to do? I don't know. You don't know? But this is the computer, I don't know what you say. What did it take computer to do? 
No way I come with no country. Yeah, he says I only go for it to break, you know, but I don't know what they use it for. 